Hello. In this video, we will learn how to create a UI date picker in Swift 3. So let's start. In the meantime, I will give you an introduction about date picker. Date picker allows us to select a date from our iPhone app, and it's it's a very handy control. So just start select select single view application. Name it as date picker Swift 3. And we have chosen the language Swift 3. Press next and we will save it in our folder. Name it as date picker. Press create. Now we are done with our basic setup. Just first go to main storyboard. From here, the object library select UI date so it's selected and drag to our view. Now we will give it constraints so we will fix it at the bottom of the screen from the leading from the left it's zero from the right it's zero so we have our date picker and we can view its property that is the more is date and time so if we use this picker then whenever we select something it will give us a date and a current time of the device so we can change it to time now here you can see it's changes to time to date to countdown timer so we will cover date in this tutorial so you can also set the minimum and maximum dates like if i tick those check marks then it will it won't select any values between these things so you can set by your own which dates you require minimum and maximum and for the timer you can send the countdown in seconds okay so let's start go to your view controller and we will create in the meantime we also create a ui label and we will place it to our center of the screen okay so that we can show the output of our date selection so we will get that I will outlet week where date picker is of type UI date picker. This is not an option, so we will unwrap it here. Note it week where and LVL date is of card type. UI label. Okay, so now we will connect it to our view. So here, date picker is connected to here, and LBL date is connected to here. Okay, now if at this moment if I print LBL date dot text equals to date because dot date date is a property that gives us the current date or the selected date with the picker but since it's a kind of date not a string so we have to use an state formatter for this so we will create date formatter first let for matter equals to date formatter formatter dot date format now this is a string here we can specify the date we are required in which format like dd mm 
yy so it will give with slashes if i replace slashes with dash then it will give let me show you first so lvl date is equals to formatter string from date now as i label accepts string so we will use formatters methods that will convert date into a string okay so if we run the app now just select the simulator and we run it so just to see what's the output so just initializing the simulator So here you can see that is it's give 2017 slashes. Now you can see here in my client that it's 24th written. Okay. Now what happens if I change this? Now I add triple M and Now you can see that 05 is replaced by the text main. So you can play with this formatter. Dead formatters are of different types. You can pass different strings here as per your requirement. Okay, now what happens if I pass here? I will cover this, I will try to cover this in next video tutorial. The whole formatters. No, it's still the same okay now we will go back and we will display the program now this is the value but if we are changing our picker it's not changing so for this we have to create an iv action that will set our date so we will create iterate iv action function date selected from date picker if any object so we will do here we will create and same cost and now we will go to main storyboard here our action is there we will connect this action to date pickers and the event will be value change so whenever the value changed it will automatically called our function date selected from date picker so let's see what happens so it's fine sorry tip small m is for minutes always there is a difference in date frame small m double m is representing minutes you have to go through to the formatters formats and capital m represents months let's change it we was in simulated signs 2401 since the second is 01 minute is 01 here so we will see what happens now it's showing 24 May 2007. Whenever I change, it's reflect here. 22 January December 2015. I will change the date and it's get reflected. If you can see, if I put a breakpoint here, and whenever I just tap, it's come here. So whenever value changed this function will be calculated. So in this tutorial we learn how to use date picker and how to get date from the date picker when user selected a date. If you like the video then please share and subscribe to our channel as we will post many more videos so that you can stay tuned to our future videos and if you have any comment regarding this video so please do comments and thanks for watching. Bye bye.